Dear viewers of our channel, we will be glad if you share your test results in the comments. Thank you. Enjoy watching. Is it true that men love sex more than women? Yes, it has always been so. No, both partners can have fun. Women of past eras were afraid of sex and saw in it only a way to get pregnant, maybe for a reason. Both women and men are able to enjoy sexual intercourse. However, it is achieved in completely different ways. 75% of women imitate orgasm. How often should people make love? Is there a norm? No, unless the physical predisposition of each partner is considered the norm. One to two times a week is normal. Young men and women should want sex every day, otherwise they should consult a doctor. The individual norm of the amount of sex depends on the sexual constitution of the partners. This is an innate characteristic, the same as eye color and fingerprints, and advises partners to agree and work out an option that is convenient for both. If a partner wants sex less often over time, does it mean that he no longer loves? Not always. Perhaps he just returned to his norm. Someone is cheating in a couple. Your task is to catch the scoundrel red-handed. Maybe he is impotent, she is frigid. Not always a decrease in the frequency of sex is evidence of cooling or illness. During the period of passionate love, while there is a high concentration of the hormone dopamine in the blood, everyone's sexual constitution is high, but over time it returns to the norm familiar to humans. How many gender identification options are there? Only two, a man and a woman. There are people who deny gender. 3. Gender and gender are not the same thing. There are more than 50 identifications. In her book, Natalia Musica examines in detail how gender differs from gender and reminds that there are 54 gender identities. What is the most dangerous pose? 69. Writer. Missionary. You can die of boredom. Writer is the most dangerous pose in sex. Scientists have found out that she is to blame for half of the cases of penis fractures. Do you manage to control emotions during orgasm? No, I usually look like an idiot. Of course. I'm trying very hard, and I think I'm even getting it. Not really. At the peak of pleasure, the area in the brain that is responsible for controlling facial expressions turns off. Therefore, really orgasmic people look so-so. Why does a woman need a clitoris? He is involved in the conception process. He is involved in the procreation process. Just for fun. The only function of the clitoris is pleasure. 86% of women need direct clitoral stimulation to achieve orgasm. At the same time, it does not age and can come in handy even in old age. After that, someone still has questions about whether a woman can experience pleasure from sex. 
Sigmund Freud believed that masturbation is a sign of infantilism. Is it so? No, it has nothing to do with infantile. Yes, it's a shame for an adult to do this. No, adults masturbate too, but not from a good life. Freud, of course, is a genius, but please don't believe the myth he created. Masturbation is normal and even useful, and we will see it further. Can interrupted sexual intercourse save you from unwanted pregnancy? Yes, it was used by my grandparents. When and how? If you're lucky, it will help. No, although this is the most popular and most useless method of contraception. Interrupting sexual intercourse to prevent pregnancy is absolutely useless. Firstly, a man does not control himself during orgasm, and secondly, there are spermatozoa in the pre-ejaculatory fluid, natural lubricant. If there is no condom, can I have oral sex? Isn't he safer? Only if we are talking about pregnancy. Of course, no infections are terrible. Dangerous in any case, you can even get pregnant. The oral mucosa is practically no different from the vaginal mucosa. This means that oral sex is not at all safer than classical. If there are wounds, abrasions and bleeding gums in the oral cavity, then there is a risk of catching an infection. If a person does not like sex, does it mean that he is sick? Of course, how could it be otherwise? urgently to a doctor and a psychologist. He or she just doesn't have a normal partner. No, we are all different, it's okay not to like sex. There is a whole community of asexuals, a ven. They even have their own symbols, an ace of hearts, a black, gray, white, purple flag or a piece of cake of the same color with the inscription, I'd rather eat a cake. And it does not mean of all that these people are sick. Moreover, they also love kisses and hugs, they are just not interested in sex. Does the hymen really burst at the first sexual contact? Of course. And it is important to take care of your flower for the only man in your life, no, modern research has shown that it only stretches. The first man does not just tear the hymen, but also lays the data for the future children of a woman. This is called telegony. The hymen is not a barrier that magically disappears after the first sexual intercourse. This is a thin and elastic film located around the vagina. It is also called the vaginal crown or arch. She only stretches or breaks during penis penetration and always stays with us. No one knows why a hymen is needed, but there is a hypothesis that it protects the microflora of a girl before puberty. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel, we will be glad to see you again, good luck.